And I do believe that we have rotten, rotten politics, and I'm, I'm not using that as an exaggeration. Hey everyone and welcome. In this video we're going to be having a look at the cracks forming in the EU, and its relationship with other nations, specifically one, over our trade deal Brexit. Now, we know that we'll probably see the UK Parliament th vote through this deal, that in my opinion, betrays the fishermen and Northern Irish that backed a true Brexit. A no deal Brexit, a clean break, or as Ramonas like to say, driving off a cliff edge. Pessimists drain me, I don't know if they do you. I find them quite repulsive, especially when it's about our union's people. I say driving off a cliff and allowed to soar. <laughs> but I'm not too sure we're going to be getting that, to be honest. But anyway, this article shows that friends of the EU are not happy, let alone the EU members. It's titled, Norway's leading party admits Britain has better EU deal and demands a return of powers. Britain will have a better trade deal with the EU after Brexit than Norway currently does, a Norwegian politician has said. So our deal is better than Norway's deal, and it's caused them to want to renegotiate their terms. Expect a lot more of this, everyone, inside and out of the EU. Now, before anyone says that Norway isn't even in the EU, let me remind you that it has one of the closest relationships with the bloc of any non-member country. In 1994, the nation agreed to follow multiple EU rules and pay fees for access to the EU's single market. So effectively, beta mailed themselves and became a cash cow. Nice. Marit Arnstad, a member of the Scandinavian country's Centre Party, said the UK has taken back authority in terms of national policy. She suggested that Norway should now begin to look at alternatives to the European economic area itself. See what I mean about tr cracks, everyone? Yesterday, speaking with Norway's Class Kampen news outlet, the Eurosceptic Party member, Eurosceptic, see how they have to bolt that on? Like, they don't like our beloved. Does anyone watching disagree with Euroscepticism with the way they be? said Brexit had shown it is possible for Norway to organise trade in a different way than the EEA agreement does. So they want to fly solo. What's wrong with that? Anyone disagree? That enables fair, free trading with the world for Norway, without rules and regulations that restrict them and tie their hands. I have to agree with them. I want all nations to ditch the EU, as you probably know, for what it actually is. A red tape machine, isn't it? She added, they get access to the internal market and the common trade that is desirable, but they do not have to be part of the dynamic... Dynamic, everyone, is code for added to regulatory development that places strong ties on the individual country's national policies. So restricts them, like I said. Her sentiment was backed by a senior member of the country's socialist left party, Hemming Olsen. Now that sentence surprises me. Does it surprise you? I, I've got to be honest. So the socialist left party are actually agreeing, and they head up the party's EEA committee. Mr Olsen highlighted how the UK distances itself from the European Court of Justice. The best thing on this deal, in my opinion. He claimed the Brexit deal safeguards national sovereignty in a better way than the EEA does for us. Now, now that's very, very damning, isn't it? This is a friend, by the way, everyone, that this is being done to. It has been one of the closest relationships with the bloc of only any non-member country. I beg to differ seeing this, to be honest. Norway's rebellion incoming, everyone? It's going to be like dominoes, just watch and bask in the slow decay of the EU empire's dream. Any moves to push for a reform of Norway's trading relationship with the bloc could be met with opposition from the country's Labour and Conservative parties, both of which are pro-EU. Funny, the similarity, isn't it, everyone? One, isn't it? According to national news outlet The Local, Erna Solberg, Norway's Prime Minister and leader of the Conservative Party there, hailed the Brexit agreement between the EQ UK and the EU, stating it would, would provide greater predictability for everyone, including Norway. However, Miss Solberg had previously warned against Norway attempting to renegotiate its own terms and pointed to the difficulties British officials had in cementing a deal. So, if she's warned against renegotiating, that means that there's a call for it from the people. That gives me hope that those words of Solberg's are quite empty and hollow. However, the two party officials lack parliamentary majority in Norway. She said in a news conference earlier this month before the Brexit deal was announced, we are going to see even more clearly how complicated it is to leave the European eco economic community. Parties who say it is defensible to leave the European single market because we can negotiate a new, better deal should look at the terms. 
You heard that, everyone. Look at the terms. Is she hinting this deal isn't actually good there? Maybe she is, because we can renegotiate a new, better deal w should look at the terms. I think that's actually her admitting that this isn't a good deal. But what say you on that one? I'd like to know your opinion. <laughs> at the same time, Norway's centre party is gaining influence as being, and has been referred to by Reuters as the biggest political force in the country. Now, what's my opinion on this, everyone? I think alignment with the EU has been shown to hamper and tie nations even ones that technically are not in the EU. Look at this article for an example. This debacle, in my opinion, i.e. Brexit, has shown the EU, EU up more than it's shown us up. And as such, we will see this empire dream slowly fall to shreds. And a struggle to get out proves they are not friends to anyone, doesn't it? But we shall see. I'm hoping, I'm hoping. I've got my fingers crossed for Norway. Well done, by the way, Norway. I think you should follow through with this. You won't be disappointed. The whole world opens up for you. And also, if Solberg continues to swing EU, vote for the centre party en masse. Your election is in September, so it's not that long to wait. If you truly want to be free of the EU and to stand solo and stand on your own two feet, this is the only way of doing it. So I hope you do, Norway. And what does everyone else think? Do you hope they do as well? It's just another nail in the coffin, as the, as the saying goes, isn't it? It seems to be like a domino effect. Next one, next one, next one, next one. But I'd like to know your opinion as well, everyone. Let me know in the comments. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and you'll see future videos. If you want to support the channel, don't forget to share it out and like it. Stay sane and I'll see you on the next one, everyone.